Доброго дня, шановні колеги. Ми продовжуємо. Regulation Metrology Department, Minister of Economic Development and Trade of Ukraine, Metro Sazonov, General Manager of Public Enterprise, Ukrainian Education Research Center on Standardization, Certification and Quality Issues, and, um, uh, and uh, some other guests. Mr. Maximov, you have the floor. Good morning. Thank you very much for all those who joined us here and, uh, you know, who is not yet secondary of different uh, tales about the reform. We are going to talk about the topic which is very technical and very often not much understandable for the public at large because uh, it, anyway it's of critical importance for the economic development of Ukraine and our integration into Europe. Uh, creation of new sales markets and uh, the protection of rights of each of us as consumers, as customers and we understand that the kilogram of potato uh, which we uh, buy, that this is really one kilo and not 900 grams, so we know where to bring our complaints and claims, etc. For a long time now, um, a very strenuous and, um, and dedicated work has been in place. Could be, uh, could seem to be kind of bureaucratic, but anyway, it already produced some fruit, which you can actually feel and sense. Um, and uh, due to the business, due to the uh, transition to, from the system which we inherited from the former USSR toward this, the system which is harmonized uh, with the European international ones. The ideology of the system is very different, uh, as well as the basic legislation, different norms and standards. And, uh, which have to meet the requirement, uh, certain, uh, certain requirements must meet, certain products must meet those requirements. We are talking about some small hooks or anchors which keep the Ukrainian business, Ukrainian producers and manufacturers. We are not talking about the over-regulation of the process or physical conflict, uh, complicated nature of those. Uh, process, but until recently we lived in so to say um, Soviet island from which it's very difficult to enter the markets of developed countries. So what has been done and what kind of task or targets uh, we face today? Of course the change of this post-Soviet system for the European model system, it's not only a very important political step but also a step towards the implementation of the FTA agreement and um, uh, the new opportunities for the business to trade with the European partners without any technical barriers in trade. Uh, you, you know, um, we have we, 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 so far we won't be able to uh, to to the, we can avoid the uh, kind of duplicated to double certification of products because it, uh, Ukraine is one and Europe is another one. It uh, requires additional efforts and time and expenses, and we have as the consumers to pay for those. Nobody else but us. Um, the uh, decreasing of the regulatory pressure since we are going to switch over from the system of quality control based on strict um, and uh, approved once and forever um, uh, norms and they're talking about in, uh, the risks which uh, potential risk more uh, fruitful cooperation with business because we are going to change absolutely the philosophical paradigm in while in the Soviet system there is a state which has to to, to show business what to do no no the business business is not uh, available in the Soviet system but they uh, <coughs> dictate to the inter enterprises how they have to what they have to do whatever but here the key figure is business which actually uh, as we say the orders the music or establishes the rules in order to be successful in the uh, competition competitive etc etc business is the main <clears throat> customer in the order of new uh, norms and regulations, for example, they 
say that they would, say, they would like to say goodbye to the magnetic tapes and um, and to switch over, transfer to the uh, digital uh, record, etc. Uh, of course, we are talking about combating um, uh, corruption and bureaucracy, and those two things are uh, go shoulder to shoulder. The more uh, regulated regulations we have, the more there are opportunities for the uh, servicemen or I mean the uh, civil servants to raise this kind of the uh, road bar. Uh, and uh, give the green light to somebody who can um, come up with some kind of present or bribe, let's call it this way. And if, of course, we're talking about the business customers, the companies for which we w will work. And all of us, the consumers of different products, we have to be positive and sure that those products, those commodities are safe, high quality, and the measurements and the control which is provided are very accurate, etc., etc. This reform is a multi-stage one uh, which have to be carried out like you know like the the, the layers in the onion uh, the which follow one uh, another I mean, the whole quality control system is a multi-layer one multi-tier one <clears throat> starting from the first one meteorological um, studies if we cannot possibly correct provide the correct measurement of this or another parameter um, what kind of tolerance levels we apply when we weigh something or when we measure the resistance of some um, <clears throat> things. Without that, it's difficult to say about the quality of the products as well as the final product. The same we are talking about the assessment. We have to start with the approval of the strategy because this is very complicated, bureaucratic, um, uh, step, no, not in a uh, negative sense, but this actually involves a lot of different components, elements to be taken care of by different um, uh, governmental bodies. And if we do not synchronize all those steps, somebody will be leading <coughs> far ahead of everybody on. And others, like in Bihar, will say, let's uh, take another three years <coughs> to catch up with those. Then we'll have even the worst situation. We'll have some kind of a monster, one, 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 uh, one poor leg of which will be in the Soviet soil and another in the Europe, Europe etc. So this situation is absolutely uh, associated with the complicated technical engineering process. This is in the, an acceptable one. We already adopted some basic legisl legislatures and laws, and law on the uh, standardization, which has been harmonized with the European one in which um, actually deserve the positive assessment evaluation of European Union experts. We actually, we, we improved the uh, list of technical regulations. This is a list of the rules and requirements in this or not engineering sphere, for example, um, electromagnetic compatibility or whatever is pertaining to radio or mobile communication technology or communication means, etc., etc., when they do not specify what, what size of the uh, of the screw boat might be used, you know, to to be used for the walkie-talkie of Russian or the, uh, Soviet make? They have to approve what kind of functions has to be ensured by this product. What parameters should be provided in order not to uh, not to incur some harm or, uh, to the health or the life of human. Um, beings. Uh, at last, we actually launched the um, online sh um, uh, shopping point uh, in our country, which is, exists in all the countries. It actually takes a lot of, um, uh, a big portion of the share of um, uh, sales. And we're going to talk more about that. I would like to explain to you what we face when we start to do that. We had a building which uh, actually, was disconnected from the district heating or the telephone, telephone communications because of um, uh, for the failure to pay in to, in time, and the former managers just fled. I, I mean, fled. Nobody had seen them after that, and all the standard bases um, existed in, on the paper in kind of very uh, damp basement, and this basement could be used for. Uh, actually shooting some kind of horror uh, movie. Uh, any person uh, who needed an official copy of that standard had to 
come to this body and, um, and to, to, to write a uh, to write an application request and wait for a long time while they will take time in order to make a copy of those uh, old and almost ruined um, paper in there from those big uh, volumes. And uh, actually, uh, sometimes those pages are stick, stick together, uh, stick together, whatever. So uh, when we can there and perhaps what seems to be a simple thing, but uh, actually we have to uh, to negotiate a very a very difficult road uh, before you take the first time when you can uh, enter this or another with this or another website and enter the uh, internet shop and uh, you know buy anything, pay with your card, and immediately you can download. You can see when when uh, when when this uh, request or application will be scanned, and when you are going to get this product, etc. We are talking about that um, level of uh, quality uh, in our communication with business, which I mentioned before. Just summing up, what we would like to uh, to say, we uh, would like to say farewell, and goodbye to all the old things, and to demonstrate, among other things, that the public or the governmental board is not necessarily associated with some uh, grievous or um, bureaucratical or some kind of other um, pleasant things. And in fact, it can be professional, it can be positive, etc., etc. Also, we'd like to to present a new brand of the uh, National Standardization Agency. And once again, would like to emphasize that we are going to uh, present it in the end of our um, a briefing, not to show this is not a Potemkin village, you know, not something which p exists on the paper. We are we are sure that we can radically change the quality of our work. We improved it drastically, and we deserve um, yeah, absolutely different practice, uh, 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 so to say, on the external side of that. And of course, the comments or questions. If you would like to put, answer the question in advance, all has been done by volunteers, free of charge by, by well, loggers and other things. We can could not do without that uh, otherwise. This is the end of my philosophical part, and I would like to give the floor to Valentin, who is going to say more about that, because 90% of this project is the merit of himself and his team. If we talk about just the amount or the quantity of the um, documents, they had to take care of a huge amount of different documents, you know, and pertain to this and our sphere of the reforms. If we could do all that, we would have been living in a different country by now. Thank you. Uh, welcome to everybody. Uh, thank you for your coming to this press conference. I would like to uh, make kind of introduction, introduction before I uh, start my part. Maybe you know such a Swedish uh, group as ABBA. I uh, use to among other songs. I ha uh, we have a dream, and if we can use those words and apply that to our sphere and system technical regulation. And then the idea is we also have a dream, which is a dream which we have to translate into life. I'm talking about recognition of the Ukrainian technical regulation system at the European international levels. You can ask why we need that, and the answer is very simple. In order to promote, uh, to contribute uh, to, to promote the products of Ukrainian Manufacturers in the the, and, uh, the, uh, the European international mar markets using the um, technical regulation means uh, why providing modern European standards uh, based on which all the products are manufacturers are produced with the help of the European re Europe recognized um, uh, let's say uh, 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 compliance system market. Uh, through surveillance and supervision, um, uh, observation uh, of the uh, observance uh, in U Ukraine of international norms and standards. This is a very complicated system which has to be synchronized in its. Uh, uh, we are talking about the issuance of uh, new standards 
replacement of the old ones or canceling the old ones, declaration by the manufacturer of, com of the compliance of um, the products to the established requirements and methodological procedures associated with the uh, precision uh, and accuracy of measurements uh, meeting the requirements of international uh, standards. This is our task. Over the last two years, we managed to do something. I'll start with the end. There are certain uh, developments uh, which allowed us at the, uh, at the beginning, in the beginning of this year, to address the European Commission on behalf of the Minister of Economic Development and Trade of Ukraine with our proposal to start the process of, um, uh, let's say, evaluation of Ukrainian system of technical regulation preparedness for the uh, signing of the so-called agreement on the uh, assessment of um, uh, uh, compliance of Ukrainian uh, community and the mutual recognition system. This is actually the dream which I mentioned at the beginning of my speech, uh, recognition of Ukrainian um, technical regulation assessment. In order to speed up this process, we prepared or we developed the road road maps for this verification or inspection of the preparedness of our system and it's um, and it's meeting the requirements for technical regulation in Europe. We were involved in a number of different negotiations with our European colleagues and we expect that by the end of this year this process will be will have been launched and we prepared the necessary evaluation of our system. So all this is provided for by the uh, FTA agreement, uh, which provides for the mechanism such inspection, verification, or control. We follow this uh, road. In order to launch the process of this verification on the part of the European uh, experts, of course, to do that, we needed to, uh, to, to, to carry out some or to take some steps. Number one, to approach uh, to bring uh, closer our standard, standardization process to the European one. As I mentioned, over the last uh, two years, we managed to accept two basic laws in this sphere of standardization, meteorological assessments of compliance, and to improve our sectoral legislation. Uh, in other words, we adopted a big number of the technical regulations identical to the European ones, as well as in this sphere of standardization. To, uh, we managed to adopt a huge number of the Ukrainian national standards, which uh, actually meet the requirements of the European ones. Another, another important achievement is modernization of our testing and measuring uh, or measurement laboratories and further improvement of the um, of the um, basic um, uh, base uh, you know, which is required to, in order to ensure the confidence in our the in carrying out our assessment and um, measurement well if we to understand what is the essence of uh, the importance of recognition of ukrainian system that means that we are going to have an agreement in place about the mutual recognition where uh, after which the ukrainian certificates issued by ukrainian bodies or also the, the declaration of the um, ukrainian manufacturers will be immediately recognized without carrying out some additional tests and uh, certification or uh, inspection on part of European partners and without any hindrance Ukrainian commodities and products accompanied by the respective certificates and declarations will enter the European market and those are the prerequisites and I believe that um, and this is obvious that also important uh, is uh, for Ukraine to produce or to make those uh, products or commodities, but this is something was associated with the creating of the favorable business climate and environment and maximum already mentioned the issues of the regulation of combating corruption. We need investors to modernize our production sites and to, to, to introduce new technologies 
uh, which will allow us through using the modern standards and means of standardization and evaluation of metrology, this will make it possible for us to produce such products. Of course, we are not talking about uh, only about external markets. We, first of all, need the, those commercial products for the Ukrainian consumers, for domestic markets. They also have the right to have very high quality and safe uh, products. This is the essence of our idea, and this is why we uh, why we actually uh, have done quite a lot. I already mentioned um, these three laws adopted uh, by today. They have adopted 50 technical regulations. Some of them are based on European directives. We also have the regulations which are identical and uh, which will be used for launching the process verification in the part of our European colleagues. We are talking about the low voltage equipment, the electromagnetic compatibility and safety and security of different um, machinery. Also, we adopted all the standards, 100% of uh, standards, which can be used as the evidence base uh, for our com uh, compliance with the requirements of technical regulations. And uh, we are talking about almost 5,000 um, standards. At the same time, we canceled the outdated uh, standards of the former USSR. And we actually created the infrastructure. We have the respective uh, compliance assessment agencies. We actually created necessary uh, measurement, the measurement metrological laboratories, which allows us to look into our future with optimism. What we are going to do next? Last year, the government adopted the strategy of technical regulation up to the year 2020. So if we stick to the time schedule, we can, we can hope that we are talking about the major kinds of the Ukrainian products, um, which is uh, exported. We'll be able to uh, sign the mutual agreements, mutual recognition agreements, which will simplify the access of our products, not only to the European market, but to international market. Now I give the floor to Mr. Sazonov, well, it's um, uh, Dimitro Sazonov, who joined our business quite recently in order to improve the work of the National Standardization Agency, which uh, for several months now managed to do a lot. You have the floor. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So in several last months, starting from March, we developed a new strategy of development of national standardization body that includes five main goals that you see in our presentation. The first and the main is to carry out the tasks of the government and to, uh, to take 1,000 standards, uh, to adopt them. Uh, these standards are harmonized with the EU legislation, and uh, we already adopted more than 100 such standards. Also, internal optimization, we reduced the amount, of, uh, we reduced the staff, and also we reduced the costs that sustained by the state, and also we create uh, the system without losses. Also, to form the new information policy, and we deal with it. This is the new brand that is called Ukrainian Agency in Standardization. In English, it is the Ukrainian Agency of Standardization. It includes also the development of the new site. And the fourth is the uh, involvement of business on working on these issues of standardization. Also, a simultaneous translation of uh, uh, tra TRADAS system. And this system w was not used before. We conducted two seminars and 18 technical committees uh, start to use a TRADAS system of translation that will allow to issue harmonized standards in Ukrainian. Also, the last one is what we do is uh, internal optimization. We reduce expenses. And in the second part, we want to transfer to electronic administration and to, to start the administration by one in electronic form in order that it should be not uh, on paper, but uh, uh, e-documents. So this is the main information. Thank you.
Dmitry was really brief. Uh, and uh, I can tell you honestly that uh, the Ministry of Economy, uh, we saw the, in what condition this enterprise was. Uh, and uh, the, now you see that the staff was reduced three times. Of, uh, so they reduced more than twice, and also they reduced administrative expenses, and this uh, organization has become uh, a service organization for business. That's why I'm really glad to give the floor to business to, in order to hear the opinion of the Mandalese company, one of the leaders. This company works a lot in Ukraine and also it has the opportunity to compare the quality of work in different countries. So, please. Thank you. Uh, would be brief. I work in business for seven years, and in this period, I saw a lot. And uh, I can compare, and I have documents with me. Uh, these documents of 2011, and we wanted to introduce changes and regulations on the storage of dry milk, and we rejected the idea, and we didn't do it because there was postponement in the revision of these documents, and uh, there were many levels, many organizations, and Joe's Ministry of Agrarian Policy, the Ministry of Economy, and other organizations. And in this situation, I want to call on the ministry that the main problem is bureaucratic procedures. Of course, we cannot get rid of bureaucracy, but still, there should be accelerated review of these documents concerning standardization. We believe that we will continue this process and we we'll solve these issues. I would like to give the example that the order was adopted on the uh, products of cacao and chocolate, and in 2018 it will be uh, entered into force, but uh, six, uh, seven standards should be reviewed for this. And uh, the Ministry of Economy should cooperate more with the technical committee. You know that at associations there are technical committees on standardization that uh, deal with these issues. And also about metrology, there is an order, the change to the order uh, uh, 914, and we sent a letter, and maybe Mr. Witkin has it already, and we support this order because it is progressive and we should adopt it. And uh, the main thing I want to repeat, this is bureaucratic procedures and postponement. And if we solve these issues, we can tell that we carried out reform. Thank you. So less bureaucracy, more electronic cooperation. So I will be glad to answer your questions. So next event in one minute. If you have questions, you can put them off records. So that will be further discussion. Thank you. The next event in one minute.